Then you have a solid state amplifier, even if it's as excellent and special as the Michael Yi Audio PA1, you often run into the problem that you have a high frequency nervousness in the sound. And uh, that that can happen when you either push your amp hard, that is listened to at uh, loud levels, with really complex material, or if you just listen to maybe even at uh, medium or average levels, but uh, you listen to instruments which have extremely high transient energy, like for example a sitar, or a charod, or a violin, or a, or a piano. And uh, that is uh, actually what people don't notice, that the culprit for that is uh, partially the solder. So, for example, let's have a look at, at these things. If you use a regular uh, silver free solder, then you have that typical closed in sound where you do not have a particularly good high frequency extension, uh, or I would say you still have the extension, but it's not really high, so you do not hear the highs as, as clearly, and you have really low amount of transparency. And when you upgrade to a silver bearing solder, then the level of transparency in across the board, not just in the high frequencies, but mid range especially, just jumps up tremendously a class or two. And that was one of the mods that I did with the PA1 a long while ago, that you see these are the RCA jack wires. I changed the solder there, not just the wire, but the solder as well, to this uh, Caster Silver and Audio Quest, a mixture of these two. So that bumped up the transparency of this amp a lot and also opened up the high frequencies to a new level. However, what you can also experience because is that uh, the highs when you have that really, really complex material with a lot of high frequency energy then, then you feel that it, it's getting raw, like uh, if you compare to it, uh, like a really good tube amp, uh, A, B testing them, then you notice that with the tube amp, it, the high frequencies do not break up, and they are just a class or two better than the solid state amplifiers. And uh, now I will rectify this uh, problem, and let's see how uh, far we can go with this. So what I was doing is that for the input wire, the RCA jack, and also for the output on the board, I changed the solder joints from the caster and audio quest solder to audio note silver. And, uh, and I did that because the audio note silver, it really cuts down the high frequency hash a lot. So I suspect that the antimony in the in that solder really doesn't favor conducting uh, frequencies in the ultrasonic range, and that results in as as uh, that that we can hear that the highs are much cleaner in the beginning as it breaks in. We, you will also hear as if the highs are muted a little bit, but it will open up. And, and in this case, it will be a really favorable change because when you hit the amp with a really complex material, then uh, hopefully we will not hear that break up in the high frequencies. So this is really a surprise for Irvin. This is his amp and I haven't told him yet what I'm uh, doing for him. And this will be just a surprise. And, and I see that when he plugs it in and listens to it, uh, he's in for a, a surprise. <laughs> so if you are in the same shoes that uh, you think that your amps high frequencies are borderline bothering you, or you think that you need more refinement for the top end, then I, I recommend just to get a short piece of audio not solder. This big reel is quite expensive, but you can get a, a few meters raw piece for pretty cheap. 
uh, just get that piece and have someone change uh, at least the the input wire and the output wire soldering to audio note and and you will be able to hear a more balanced high frequency so thank you for tuning in i hope this will be helpful for many of you and please like and subscribe bye bye